Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. I have a rather uh, colourful bottle in front of me, which is uh, Vilar Now uh, Brut Reserva. Uh, it's a Carver, what's the blend? 15 Maccabeo, 35 Pariada, uh, 15 Chirello. So it's the traditional Carver grapes. And uh, so let's see whether it is um, good, bad, indifferent, or even better. Well, it smells ripe, round, but with its toasty edge. One of the things that I saw when I was looking at the bottle, where is it? Uh, Crianza de Mas de... Oh, I don't know what 15 is in Spanish, apologies. Um, uh, it, yeah, aged for more than 15 months. And uh, so rather than this being slightly uh, br yeah, brusque and aggressive carver, it feels like it's going to have a little bit of uh, mature authority to it. It's got this lovely richness and roundness. Sometimes when you have carver made from those uh, three grapes, when it's young, it's got maybe a little bit of lemony attack, and there is some slightly cooked lemon character in, on in there. But um, they often, that, that's it. Here, because of that age, it feels like it's got a little bit more roundness, a little bit more toasty complexity. Time on the leaves has fattened it up a little bit, but it's still got this freshness. And um, really quite a broad-shouldered wine, but that freshness sort of pinches in its waist, so it's sort of nice V-shaped torso. Um, and um, I, I really like it. I mean, I, it's weird how Carver uh, isn't, uh, it, it, I don't know, it seems to have maybe so slightly lost its way, and uh, wines like Prosecco and, to a lesser extent, Franciacorta have, uh, have, 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 have stolen the limelight. But um, I'll be honest, I'd say if I had uh, if I had about £12 to spend and I had the choice of uh, Carver or Prosecco, I'd probably plump for the Carver. Uh, Prosecco, it, it, it's good at that price, but uh, a Carver for me has just got that little bit more personality. I do like this. Anyway, I might go away, have a large glass of it and um, see you soon.